Welcome to Chicken of the Day, Bard Rock Edition. So this morning I have for you my Bard Rock female. Her name is Nemo. You'll meet her sister in a few minutes. Nemo here is a Plymouth Bard Rock. You'll hear people call them Plymouth Rocks or Bard Rocks. But the whole reason they call them Bard is if you look at their feathers here, you see? That's a, it's a white and then a black and then a white and then a black. The way that actually works is that the feather has a gene that programs color. And in their case, it tells the color to stop, it waits, it tells the color to start again. It tells the color to stop, it tells the color to start again. So it doesn't tell it to do the white. It just tells it to do the black, which has the nice green sheen to it. I think some of them have more of a purple. Um, I've heard that the purples are more sought after in breeding birds. I'm just not sure if that's true in the barred rocks or not. Mine have a very nice green sheen in their, uh, in their plumage, and I think it's beautiful. But the Plymouth barred rock here, this is Nemo, they were developed in the, I believe, the early 19th century. So for those of you who weren't paying enough attention in history class, it's the 1800s somewhere in Massachusetts and you would assume it was near Plymouth. <laughs> well, these birds were developed in the early 19th century and they were very popular. They're still popular. They were very primarily popular. They were a bird of choice until somewhere before World War II, so into the 20th century. Now these birds happen to be some of my most gentle birds. Now my entire flock is gentle birds, you know. But these birds, these Plymouth Bard Rocks, are really, really known for being calm, cool birds. They even say that the roosters tend to be very nice. I can't speak from that in personal experience because I have not had a male Bard Rock yet. So, let me show you this one here. Now, if you they have a single comb. They got these nice little waddles. They got that yellow beak. Mine have a little bit of black on them, but I think that's more from what they do than, well, I guess they do have black on the beak, now that I'm thinking about it. A little bit on the top. Not such big nostrils on them like you see on some of the crested birds. You know, they got beautiful amber eyes on these birds. They're very calm. They don't have any feathers on their feet, so these are good chickens to have in a snow-covered environment. I find them to be very okay around my dog. I'm not sure how they'll do around yours. I guess it really matters the relationship of your chickens and the dogs because mine will run away from any dogs that are brought onto the property that aren't mine. They don't exactly run up and kiss mine. <laughs> None of mine do. None of my chickens will run up and kiss my dog. But they don't run away from him. They just kind of move and let him walk through. They keep an eye on him, but they know that he's going to keep them safe. So I don't find the barred rocks very flighty. This is a heavy bird. I don't know her exact weight, but compared to my Silky, this bird is a little, it's a little bruiser. She's got a lot of weight on her. Now, this one in particular, because we're meeting her and not just the chickens, her name is Nemo because if you look, uh, if you look over here, I have a wing. And this is a good chance to see some of the pretty, prettiness of these birds. Look at that wing, huh? That is just absolutely gorgeous. But her name is Nemo because when she was still in the brooder, she tried to escape from the brooder in my house, and she ended up with her wing in a rat cage. So now, she does not have a wing over here, and I don't know how good I can show it to you. I can't really show you the nub because it's really, it's feathered over really nicely. So, she had an incident, she got out of the brooder. Chickens are very, they're tough, they're stoic, they don't display as much discomfort as they can really feel. So I knew nothing about her having one wing until the next morning. The other bard rock is doing an egg song. So that other bard rock just laid. And of course, now that we got the camera on her, she's gone shy. Uh, I'm sorry you didn't get to see that egg song, but the the squawking you were just hearing was our other bard rock had just laid an egg. So she lost her wing early in her life. All I had to do was 
clean it up. The bard rock's singing again. That is a bard rock egg song. Don't mind her, she's camera shy. So, this one lost its wing. I was able to cut it down to the stump. All it had was an exposed bone. But I cut it down to the stump as best I could. I put a bunch of neosporin on it. When you have chickens and they're injured and you have to use uh, antibacterial on them and use neosporin, you gotta get the one without the pain reliever. The uh, cane or whatever. I have no idea what it is. I haven't used it on them in a long time. It's been like six months, but you can't use the pain reliever one on them because they can be allergic to it and it can give them bad problems. But my bard rock here, Nemo, she is a beautiful girl. I'm going to go get her sister for you, but you can see they got a beautiful tail. They got all that beautiful underskirt, all that beautiful fluff on their butts. She got a little nastiness on there because they haven't been free ranging, but they are beautiful birds. Let me get her sister to keep those wings down or they're ready to go but you'll see they got this nice triangular body up front they're real muscular birds they're real pretty so this one has all of her feathers sorry little lady I'm trying to show them your tail so this one's got a beautiful tail look at this look at that tail oh she just got such a beautiful tail on her they're very good birds mine are very calm very collective so the last thing I like to talk to about them is their egg. Here you go, little lady. So, the bard rocks lay a large brown egg. They lay a large brown egg. I get one almost every day for my bard rocks. There'll be a day or two where I don't sometimes, but I almost get one every day. Chickens lay on like a 25 hour cycle. It's mine are eight months old. So they're finally getting to their full size, kinda. Their size has increased greatly. They're a nice, heavy little bird. They're not nearly as big as my... That light Brahma there is a monster. I mean, she's, she's okay, but I'm saying her size. She is big. So, they're not nearly as big as this lady over here, but they're heavy. I can't believe how That would be an okay dual-purpose bird to me. They're heavy. There's got to be some meat on that bird. But they're beautiful birds, and I hope you've enjoyed coming out to uh, see that. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And thank you for meeting our bard rocks. Have a good one.